one now in one of my friends' lands. And uh, he lives just next to the river. There's a river over there. That place, so some 50 meters from when I, where I stand, there's a river. And this place is really have a nice black soil, very dark soil. And he has water, a borehole. It's just some some short distance, some maybe five meters down. He has water, and it's a dry season. He has some trees, some gravelia. And on the gravelia, there's some passions growing. These gravelias, I guess they're around 10 years and are really, really big. Because this place, there is a lot of water for them, so they grow fast. In my place, it's a bit more dry, they will not be this big. <laughs> Maybe they will be this big uh, when they are 30 years. <laughs> we have to see. And uh, he has some lime and lemon trees. So, uh, some trees growing for uh, family consumption. Even some mango, some papaya, and some bananas, some sugar cane. Yes, for family consumption. And then his business now is. And the vegetables, and the spinach, and the kale. And uh, you can see some beds for nursing. And then he's preparing more land to grow. And this is a good season for that business because it's dry. So people who rely on rain, they don't have any vegetables. But come June, July, August, September, up to sometimes even December. That business is not all that good, because people already have them in their own chamber, this kind of vegetables. So the price is low, but right now the price is better. There's an indigenous tree, very nice one. And here we have passions climbing. It's a really, really Nice place, and we are still in Maralal town, not far from town actually. So, this place has potential. You can see the fruits coming up. The ma mango growing with <laughs> passion, and then the gravelia tree. Gravelia tree. You can see some more vegetables. And then some amaranth, some some local available species. And he actually has some beds for amaranth. This one is amaranth, that one is amaranth, this one is amaranth, this one is amaranth. So terere in the local language. There's some pilipili, but not doing all that well right now. Some bananas, see tall trees. So, and uh, he experienced that there was too much shade from these trees. So some trees he have removed and uh, used for construction. There you can see it's constructed house for hay, the house for animals, and then he has a grazing area outside. With some cows, some sheep, some goats. So this guy is really trying. You can see the potential of this area. Uh, and another thing he did with the gravel gravelia tree is that he pruned, he removed actually all branches from some of the trees, like this one. He removed all branches just to leave the trunk standing. And then it grew back. And that's uh, a beauty with the gravelia tree, you can do that. And with the gravelia you can give uh, the leaves for the cows. And they will actually eat, especially the new sprouts. 
will eat them very well. And especially in this drought, I will eat also <laughs> eat them very well. This is another kind of kale uh, that is from last year. So it's a long term kale. Uh, there are several several species of both the spinach and the kale and the uh, amaranth. Yeah. So here you can also see this tree has been cut, the tree has been cut, that tree has been cut, this tree has been cut, this one has been cut, and then they have all grown back.